Hello, this is Salman Ghassim. I'm the CEO of Source Hospitality Company and Star Training Institute. Uh, so, Social Security Company, we're, a, lot, we're a, a leading consulting company. We uh, mainly advise policymakers and government. We also do project management services. We also do community de development and engagement with a lot of GECA projects, uh, helping, the, uh, you know, enabling local communities across the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And as far as Star Training Institute is concerned, uh, so we're a leading training institute in the field of tourism. We trained over 10,000 people last year. We're looking to train over 20,000 this year uh, to achieving more impact. And the Future Hospitality Summit is the second uh, time happening in the Kingdom. First time was an amazing success, especially after Corona. This year is a bigger and better. Tell us, what does it mean for the future of the hospitality and the tourism sector as Saudi Arabia is moving away from the oil? And tourism hospitality brought the attention of the Kingdom to all around the world, individuals to see it as a future destination. I believe what uh, the Future Hospitality Summit is doing is directly contributing to Vision 2030. Uh, we're, we're here to develop the sector, but we're here also to promote the sector. We're here also to facilitate connection between uh, industry leaders within, the, within, within Saudi Arabia, within the region, and also globally. I was very thrilled to, to meet some people yesterday or before yesterday who came all the way from New York, as far as New York, just to attend this conference. So it's, it's really brilliant. Saudi Arabia is definitely is very serious towards uh, developing tourism. And what I like to say usually, uh, as a proof to developing the tourism sector, the launch of the e-tourist visa, uh, you know, being, making, it, making Saudi Arabia extremely accessible uh, is, is the first hand, uh, let's say, uh, proof towards its seriousness towards uh, the developing tourism. But of course, the, the Saudi government uh, is extremely generous. They, they launched a number of uh, initiatives and programs that really support the development of the sector. Today, uh, or actually very recently, I think a, a week ago, uh, the government announced it's a new uh, changing their KPI or actually even upgrading their KPIs in terms of number of tourist uh, visits. Uh, uh, tagging that 100, 100 million uh, visits is, is no longer the ambition. The ambition is way, way higher. Uh, and, and so much more to say. So I think it's, uh, it's, it's great times. And thank you to the uh, Future Hospitality Summit for what they're doing. Any final words or message you would like to say? I have a lot to say. But I will keep that to my panel. Please uh, try to, uh, I'll, I'll invite everyone to, to make it uh, live or uh, through uh, the live streaming. But I think uh, everyone has a chance to contribute, whether you're a local person, uh, you are from the region, or you are from the international community. Uh, the Saudi tourism uh, development scene is not made uh, thoroughly only for the local people, but literally for the whole globe. So I think everyone has a chance to contribute as long as you bring in an added value. Saudi Arabia is here to welcome you. Thank you so much. Thank you.